Just uh, fairly recently, the uh, Anishinaabe Society of the Medewin have been very active and uh, have declared that the women will be keepers of the water, that they will be responsible for the waters of Turtle Island. And as a part of that, uh, elders have walked around the Great Lakes out of concern for the health of the waters. And more recently, Catherine Morisot Sinclair, an elder in Manitoba, uh, read the headline that Lake Winnipeg had been voted the most endangered lake in the world. Out of concern for the waters of this province, so for the Lake Winnipeg itself, Catherine determined when she got up the next morning that she had to do something. So she informed her husband, Murray, that she was going to walk around Lake Winnipeg. And so it was that on the 12th of July, 2014, that Catherine and some other women gathered in Norway House, took some water from the lake in a copper pail, had a ceremony with the community, and left that morning on the walk around the lake. Um, as she left Norway House, she was supported by prayers from Reverend Lawrence Moore, who was the minister of the United Church in Norway House. And uh, he was aware of what Catherine was doing, and as, as were others in the community. And women from Norway House joined her on that walk. She continued down the highway onto highway number six eventually, stopping at communities where she was feasted and where she talked with the people about the health of the waters in their territory and uh, continued until she arrived at our home uh, at the south end of Lake Winnipeg in Petersfield, where we hosted a feast to honor the water walkers and to support them. And friends gathered for a good United Church potluck feast, which uh, involved us and also made us very informed of what the water walkers were doing. Some of us then went on a journey after the water walkers had moved further uh, to the east from our village. And there we joined them for the conclusion of their walk on August the 8th. Having carried water in a small pail, women had worked for 1,200 kilometers of carrying water. The marvelous ending at Manigatagan, where they ended the walk, resulted in a, a great celebration as they poured the water from the copper pail back into Lake Winnipeg. The importance of our involvement uh, was expressed by Catherine at, at, on her visit at our home and she said that our planning is for seven generations into the future and she really is concerned about what will happen to the water because it will impact her grandchildren and the concept of having safe water for, for us and for our children and those yet unborn is so important to all people of faith. And I believe the United Church has an important role to play with um, our, our being informed about water, but also in being informed about how climate change is affecting all of our lives. And as people of faith uh, who are real relatives of creation, related to creation, it is faithful for us to be involved, to be committed, to the ongoing health of, of the land and the water. I have been very encouraged by the, by the dedication of people to, um, to the care of water. And it was interesting that some of the people who joined us for the feast in Petersfield were people who were on the Lake Winnipeg um, Water uh, Commission, uh, people who are involved day by day, United Church people who in the area who who know the lake is being threatened uh, with pesticides and uh, fertilizer and all manner of chemicals and pollution. So, so we're active uh, locally. We have people in the community who are informing us, scientists who are educating us, and uh, we're hopeful that people on the land, across this land, will see how important it is that we are proactive. While we have vast areas of water, great water supplies, we have not cared for um, or protected this, this resource. I think the threat is very real. We're conscious in this territory 
that our waters are under threat, and that we uh, have seen within two generations uh, lakes that were once safe for drinking are now causing illness and problem in the, in the land. So I think across the country there is there's great hope. We have such wonderful bodies of water everywhere across the land and, and we, they are so important uh, for our life, not just for our recreation, but for our very living. And, uh, and I think we can do so much more with our children um, and our elders to promote uh, quality of water and protecting the land as we do our, our faithful journey. Being here at Rendezvous uh, uh, in Manitoba, uh, Manitoba, the Creator's resting place, uh, very aware of the potential and the energy of, of life in the church among the young people. And I think a continued awareness of environmental responsibility. So we have a, a role to play within the church as, as members of the United Church to uh, support and inform the young ones and, uh, and to be uh, creative, to be uh, very, very active in, in uh, promoting the quality of life on this land.